hi everyone welcome back to another youtube video today well this is just gonna be the start of a weekly vlog because i've not done a weekly one in ages and i actually feel like we've got quite a lot going on this week so we've just literally had our spare room decorated um please ignore my eyebrows by the way i tinted them last night and because i've got no makeup on i'm a little bit pale they're feeling very strong right now and i've not washed my hair for a week but i'll explain why in a minute um yeah so we've just had our spare room decorated and we really need to get some wardrobes now so since we moved into this house in may which was well it's may in four months so it's eight months ago we've literally been living out of just the odd drawers some like railings and just living out of boxes basically so this is our spare bed currently um we just literally picked clothes up that were living on the floor um i've just attached the footage of what it looked like before so this wall was pink and then this wall was pink and it's now all just one color so we've gone for the shaded white by a flower and ball which is what we have in our bedroom and casper's room so here we are having some wardrobes i'm just going to zoom out a little bit that's all i can do so we've got one ikea wardrobe here which we took from our our old house but we just thought if we took all the others it just wasn't going to um work because we just thought they would never go back together we're having um this single one then we're buying a double and then we're having another single so there will be single double single wardrobes and then i'm also going to replace this kallax unit with a set of drawers to match that tall one so i'm going to have the one that's like um similar height to that really but it's got four drawers in it obviously get rid of this and then i need to get rid of this desk which is ikea as well because it's just far too big for this space so i'm just i found like a really thin one that literally will sort of sit there that i can just pop my laptop on and have just some like little bits on the wall but i need to buy a new curtain rail um, I need to buy, we've bought a new, well this is our old duvet set, it's actually not that old though, it's from the summer, it's from dusk and Josh doesn't like it, so I need to buy a king size duvet for that, because I think this is a double, and put this on, and then yeah I just need to decorate, I need to get new cushions, things for the wall, and then we obviously need to get our wardrobes, so we are going to go to Ikea on Saturday I think, and order our wardrobes um so i thought i'd just start a weekly vlog because i just feel like there's a lot going on josh has literally just taken casper to gymnastics i've just put indy down for sleep and i'm just going to sort some of this stuff out in here i've got absolutely loads of it to go to charity josh has got loads to go through as well and i've told him like you really need to throw some clothes away and also um, I need to put some stuff on vintage as well so that is my job for the next half an hour until Josh and Casper come home and until Indy obviously wakes up and then we've got swimming this afternoon for Casper. Josh wants me to go in with him. I've actually not been in with him since he was like a proper young toddler. Um, I've not been in with him since he moved where he swims. Um, I'm on my period. It's like my second period since having Indy. It's not very nice. I've not even put a tampon in yet. <laughs> so... If I am going to go in, I'm probably going to have to buy some tampons because obviously I can't go in the pool on my period without one. I've got really hairy legs. I've got no body confidence whatsoever. Like, honestly, I feel like it's actually getting worse. Even though I do think I'm genuinely losing weight, I just feel like I'm feeling worse about myself because it's just not quick enough for how I want it to be. But we all know that the journey is just a slow process and yeah i'm really not looking forward to going in the water to be honest um we'll see if i actually do get there but firstly i'm just going to tackle this bed oh hi everyone um it is the following day it is now thursday and yesterday i got through quite a few bits so i put some bits on vinted um i've actually sold some stuff already so i do need to pack that up today and the kids are not here because today is my working day but one of my clients has just cancelled so i'm just going to do some tidying up and sorting out 
in this room again so that when we order the wardrobes and stuff that everything can kind of just come straight in but someone's coming to pick this desk up today as well off facebook marketplace and i just need to get in i need to get the um rails back into here from indy's room because i still cannot get into indy's room poor thing and funnily enough i really want to be able to get into it but um i've literally just had a, um, a, a mental breakdown basically because i'm just finding casper such hard work at the minute like i actually probably cry nearly every day over him i'm not going to say his behavior because it's just it's just him as a person but he's just so strong-willed, he's so defiant, he's so determined that he is doing everything himself that he, if you don't allow him to do it, he either just screams, like actually screams. He gets himself undressed when you've got him dressed, even though he won't do it himself, but he wants to do it, but then he won't do it. But then if you do it, he actually just takes his clothes off. It can take like an hour to get him dressed sometimes. And I've just lost my shit, basically, which then makes me feel even worse because I know that screaming at him doesn't help. But he's screaming at me, so I just want to scream at him, and it's just like a vicious cycle. And me and Josh sat down last week and had, like, a really big chat about it. And we just said that we both need to be on the same page. Like, we know now that his personality is such a stubborn, strong-willed character and his personality traits will be amazing when he's older but right now as a toddler they are just so hard and i feel like the last week he's been absolutely great but this morning oh my god he has been absolutely awful he has just screamed at me just shouting no mommy at everything like he won't let me get him dressed if we get him dressed he takes his clothes off he starts screaming he starts shouting he slept awful last night, he walked into our bedroom about five times, half four this morning, in fact it was quarter past four, he's literally asking for the TV on, screaming that he wants the TV on, you know when you're just like, this is just not my life, like what is actually going on? So yeah, I'm finding it really difficult, I'm not going to lie, um, I do generally find parenting a toddler the hardest thing in the entire world, but not everyone has a toddler like me, so not everyone struggles. But same with babies, I find parenting babies very, very easy. But I do get easy babies, so that's why um, I've never really had a baby that's difficult. Right, that's finished then. Let's put that on there. Gosh, what a stressful morning. And when I say stressful, I literally mean stressful. Um, it is 20 past 8. We've been awake for two and a half hours, obviously. <laughs> Um, and Casper has already kicked Indy in the head with his new snow boots on. So she's scraped loads of skin off the top of her head. Um, he's then proceeding to jump on her on the bed when she's on the bed trying to go to sleep. And it's just one of them mornings where I just think, wow. I'm sick of the state of myself all the time. I just feel so... I know I said this in the last vlog and I said I'm going to stop saying it, but I just feel so ugly, I'm not going to lie. Um, but I faked tan last night, so I'm just going to jump in the shower and wash the um, wash the remnants off. Um, and then we're going to go to soft play today. I would love to have said to Casper that we're not going because he's been so naughty. But I want to go because it's just easy life and he needs to burn some energy we turn the tv on now i had to have a lot of breathing and counting to fives this morning good morning saturday wow wow beetle um it is saturday morning i think it's about 20 to 8 and i'm about to go on the bike in the gym so i usually have a client at on a saturday morning and she's cancelled wow that light is really not doing me any favors is it um and yeah she's cancelled so i'm just going to quickly go on the bike for 20 25 minutes in the gym and then i need to get ready 
And me and Casper have got a kids party um, this afternoon. No, this morning at 10 o'clock. And Josh is just going to look after it. Uh, and then we're going to Ikea to order some wardrobes. So that is our Saturday. You're just so excited all the time, are you, darlings? Yeah! Oh, wow! <laughs> yeah, so I'm just getting 20, 25 minutes done on the bike, depending on um, how I feel. I did go on a run last night with my first ever run with my friend. Um, we sat off at about half eight last night and we just ran till about nine o'clock. We just kind of like ran around her village. We did do a little bit of walking as well, but yeah, it was actually quite good and I enjoyed it and I feel good. I felt good when I got home, like having a shower and stuff after I'd been running. So I am proper getting on it now because I'm just sick of feeling like this. And the only way to change is to make changes. So that is what we're doing, isn't it? Yeah. You say you don't want to get in trouble That you're doing fine cause you got me I don't want to break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full We're now on Wednesday the 1st of February and Casper is actually two and a half today but I've not vlogged since the weekend and I just thought I would catch up on this weekly vlog. I'm just staying in for an Ikea delivery so Josh took Casper to gymnastics this morning, he's now swimming and I've just been in the house all day because the delivery was literally seven till seven and it's now half two and it's still not here. Um, Indy's been really fussy today. What's up darling? She is in leap four and she's so tired but she's sleeping for like 20 minutes and then waking up again. Um, so she's just been super fussy. I've hardly eaten anything. I'm absolutely starving. I think I'm just gonna have to have a yogurt pouch for my lunch and it's half two. But yeah, I'm just waiting for this IKEA delivery. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is, I know this is technically a weekly vlog, but I'm just gonna wait until we get the wardrobes up to finish this vlog off, I'm afraid, because I just feel like, I just can't feel how bad I'm getting at vlogging, guys. I just, I, do you know what? I am struggling with two kids. Like, I just think actually looking after two kids is fine, but doing anything else for yourself with two kids is just really hard work, whether that's housework, working, things like YouTube, anything for yourself. Like, last night I went to hot yoga. Oh, my God, trying to get out the house was just such hard work, and it was literally half seven at night, and I just was so stressed when I got there but obviously I'm really glad that I went because it did make me feel a lot better but anyway I better tend to my child because she's kicking off. I am back with the weekly vlog even though it's probably been a two week vlog now because I think I started this vlog two weeks ago. Please ignore my fake tan. Um, but we are building our Ikea wardrobes today. So they arrived on Wednesday and it's now Saturday this is the one that we've already got from our old house because we just brought it as a solid piece and um, we don't have the door on and then we need to build another double and another single but I think we're just going to try and build a single today because we've literally got like an hour an hour and 15 minutes before we need to go get Casper so my mum's taking Casper to soft play with my niece so we can try and get something done. So we might have to do a single today and then do a double next weekend or something or even, I don't know, my dad might come and help us do it a bit tomorrow. But yeah, time to uh, <coughs> get building. Josh got his new toolbox. New toolbox. Indy's asleep in her cot, so I'm hoping that she sleeps for a good more half an hour and then she can kind of just sit. A good sit. more half an hour. A good more half an hour. <laughs> 
and then she can sit and watch us but even just having one single will be helpful because we can just get a few more clothes put away so here we go there's many ways to be happy you can do whatever you like you don't have to be ready you just gotta trust the Right guys, I'm just coming on to finalise this vlog with my egghead. So, I started this vlog two weeks ago, I think, and since then, I've just been really bad at vlogging, I'm not going to lie. I don't even know if I'm going to upload this, I need to edit it this evening and just see what we've got to work with. But we have just had, the last two weeks, honestly, have been the most explosive tantrums in the world from Casper. Like they are literally lasting two or three hours. I feel like I've cried every day. I feel like he's cried every day. I feel like I just don't have a minute to myself between looking after Indy and sorting Casper out and sorting the house out. Our spare room is still an absolute jumble sale as you can see. Um, but we did build this wardrobe the other day when I said that we were going to build it and then we just got the double one to go in the middle which I've not yet built so I need to put the door on that one obviously I need to put the door on this one which I'm going to try and do this evening but Josh is home late so it might have to be done tomorrow I'm going to ask my mum if she can help me do the double one tomorrow because in reality I just want to get this done there's nothing worse than living in a house upside down it just makes you feel so stressed and just really unmotivated like i feel like i'm waiting for the house to be sorted before i do anything else i keep telling myself right when the house is sorted i'll do that obviously it was this room was actually better when it was just pink and there was railings in here because at least there wasn't loads of clothes on the bed and stuff wasn't everywhere like cardboard boxes um i also need to build some drawers i'm gonna get rid of that and put it in the playroom um and then i need to build some drawers I need to get rid of all them books as well. I don't know where they're going to go, but they're basically not going here. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I was going to get a Billy bookcase to put down that side, but it's not going to fit. There's hardly any room left there. Um, yeah, so I don't know where they're going to go. But I'm just going to come and finalise this vlog. I'm actually working with a shop today called Acorn and Pick, which is local to me. It's a stunning, stunning, stunning baby shop and cafe. And they sell all sorts of brands like Little Dutch, um, like Dinkum Dolls, stuff like that. Um, so, like Scandi Born. We are going there today to do lots of stories on their new window display. Are we, darling? Yeah. And they have a gorgeous menu as well, like really good coffees, really good cakes. They do the most amazing cheesy beans on toast so i'm probably gonna have them in fact no i'm not because i'm actually just gonna go make myself some lunch now but yeah thank you so much for watching guys i did ask you what you like to see from me and you did say vlogs so i probably will upload this vlog and if it's not that enjoyable then i'm really sorry but it's just the reality of my life right now i actually don't think i'm still struggling with two kids i'm just struggling with casper unfortunately and um, we've spoke to his nursery and he's doing absolutely amazing and my mum's friend is a, not my mum's friend, my friend's mum, is a child psychologist and she thinks that what he's doing is bottling all his feelings up and then letting them all out when he's at home. Um, because honestly he, they are just extreme tantrums, like he's making himself sick, he's getting that worked up. And we just try and breathe through it, we try to stay calm, we try to hug it out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes we'll hug it out and it'll be fine. And then five minutes later, he'll set off again. So I just don't know what it is. I'm hoping that because he's now two and a half, he's at the absolute peak of these tantrums. Um, but it's nice to know that he's good for everyone else. He's good for my mum. He's good for nursery. Nursery, I absolutely think he's great, which is obviously a good thing. Um, so yeah. <sighs> I just think we are having a rough ride right now and I'm hoping that this is one of the roughest times we're going to get until both these kiddies are teenagers. But I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to go make some dinner now and we will see you in our next vlog. Say bye bye darling. You've got your brother's old outfit on haven't you today? Yeah?